we have an iPhone XS Max, and you might be wondering, what is wrong with the phone? Well, boom. Yeah, I don't know how people crack the camera glass. I really don't. It seems like such a hard thing to crack, but it happens more frequently than you think. So there's two ways to repair this. The cheap way, which is just remove it without taking out any of the internals. And then the hard way, which is the safe way. Remove the internals, remove the screen, as well as the two cameras, because you could really damage it taking off the glass. So obviously we're going to do the cheap one. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to do the hard way. We're going to remove the screen and the cameras and let's do that. First things first, unscrew. Now let's get into the phone, lift up our display, open it up. So this is what your XS Max looks like. It's pretty cool. Looks a lot like the XS, except it has two brackets. Uh, usually this is all in one portion. This one has one, two. Pretty cool. Unscrew. Now we can disconnect our battery and our face ID. It's not face ID, it's a front speaker. I just call it face ID because if you break it, you break face ID. Remove our screen. Now we got to remove our camera because we don't want to break it. Unscrew. Now we can remove the bracket protecting the camera and we can start removing the actual camera. That's one and that's two. Now we can gently pry on our camera and try and get it lifted up. We have to be patient doing this because we don't want to damage it because it's expensive. We're gonna get our plastic pry tool and we're just gonna stick it in here. There we go. Now we can remove our camera and keep this guy safe. So we now have access to our camera lens and we're not gonna damage anything in the process. What we need to do is basically break the rest of the camera lens. So we're gonna do that by just pushing out. That was a nice crack. I'm just gonna push out some more. There we go. So we broke our camera lens. Now we can heat it up a little and start to shave off the rest of the glass. Okay, so we're all done with that. I hope you guys enjoyed that bit of uh, ASMR. We're gonna take some Q-tips and isopropyl alcohol, 99%, and we're just gonna clean up the area and try and make it nice and smooth and prepare for the new glass. So I just found out that I'm bleeding. That's kind of cool. It really wouldn't be one of my videos without me bleeding. So we got the phone cleaned up. This is the new camera glass that we're gonna be applying. We have to glue the area down and then push our new camera glass in and hold it down. I'm gonna put on some gloves so I don't smudge the glass because if I do, it's very hard to clean. Now we can take our camera glass. We wanna be careful with the glue. Um, we don't wanna get any on the actual lens. We can take our glass and we're just going to place it down and push it into place and press and hold. Now it's time to close this up and test out our camera. Get that crunch. There we go. Now we'll give the camera a test and it seems to be good. So that is all for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching. Um, these repairs, if you wanted to take the risk and not remove the camera under, you could probably do it at home. I don't suggest you do that. But uh, yeah, that's all for today. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.